We're, we, yeah, we, you wear your skirt, and I'll wear my skirt. Yeah. We didn't even plan that. That's We're coordinating. Yeah. <laughs> You're back on West End, right, doing yeah. theater? Yeah. Do you love theater? I do. Yeah. I do. There's something so special. And, you know, one, with the live audience, and when you start, you can't stop. You just got to roll with it. Yeah, and... That's what I love about it. Yeah, me too. Because it's, and it's always different, right? Like, uh -huh. every show is different based on people's moods or if they're tired or mm -hmm. Yeah, sometimes it. the audience is super quiet, and you're thinking, oh, God, they hate me. Other times they're really loud and yeah. laughing, and you just got to, like, Sometimes, though, when they're... Because I noticed that when I toured and I was younger, mm. I was like, why are they so quiet? I must yeah. have sucked. But they're being respectful. And, and they just and like listening. listening. Yeah, they like listen. Canadian audiences can be like that. They're like, like. very respectful. <laughs> and I'm from Texas, so I'm like, where are y'all? <laughs> like, when they're quiet, I'm like <laughs> hating them. I'm like, come on, guys. <laughs> like, how bad did that suck? <laughs> um, <laughs> no, but you you bike in London a lot, yeah. um, which I think is crazy because there's so many cars. It's like here in New York because people bike here a lot. I have friends that are... I want to do the electric bike thing. You can just rent them. You yeah, know, that's you what I do. Yeah, oh, that's what you do? And so there's zero effort. You can cycle, you can get there quicker. There is a lot of effort of not dying. Not dying is something to think yeah. about, yeah. Yeah, it's something to put in the equation, yes. No, but I love yeah. it. And those electric bikes are everywhere in yeah. London now. Like, They're everywhere here, too. I'm yeah. just, I'm a little, I kind of want to, like, go to a bike path and, like, rent it there and just do just it there. To, yeah, that's good. Yeah. But also, like, the thing I don't like about electric bikes is people aren't wearing helmets now, which I've been... Oh. And then I think that's really dangerous. I'm going to wear a helmet. I really like my life. Yeah, me yeah. too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I prize my life. I'm like, I don't want to die. Yeah. <laughs> now. Um, you grew up with two brothers, so that's yes. fun. Yes. Like, were they... Were you rowdy like them? Were you kind of more of a tomboy? I was a tomboy. Yeah, I was a tomboy. Anything they could do, I could do better. Yes. Like, and you get your gun? Yes. Yeah. And we, <laughs> yes, exactly. Yes. Um, yeah, in fact, the thing they were most annoyed about with me was that I love musicals so much, so I was always singing. So they would oh. just be like, that, that was how I could really get to them, was just singing. I at think the top I annoyed of my, my, voice. my mother like that. <laughs> now she's fine with it. But like, yeah, at the time, she was like, shut up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, but my dad was always making crazy assault courses in the garden. We're really close in age. And, and I look back at family videos now, and it's actually kind of like ropes between trees really high up, and he's like, go, go. And it's like, oh, wow, that was. <laughs> oh, my, things I did. As a child, I would never allow my kids to do, which is not good. I mean, I let them be adventurous, but I'm yeah. like, no, you're yeah. not doing that. Hardcore. Yeah, they're like, let's get on a dirt bike. I'm like, or I just don't want to go to the ER, so no. <laughs> um, it just seems like a trip, right? <laughs> uh, anyway, um, you have strong women in your family. I heard that actually your grandma escaped the Nazis in France. Yeah, That's well... That's rad. I know. Yeah. She, oh, she's incredible. She actually passed away, has recently passed away, but mm. she's French, Marinette. Oh. And, um, yeah, she was 11 years old, lived in France when during the Second World War, and, and the Germans took over her home. She was on the road. She was bombed at. She went on this mass kind of exodus to Paris. So her stories, it's just so incredible. I'd sit with her, and you just realize what she lived through and had been through and I mean yeah. would you ever make a film about that because that seems pretty great I know and she wrote down so my grandfather she spoke all, all her memories and my grandfather wrote it into like a small book so it is something I would love to do one day yeah I think that's yeah. amazing it's especially if you have like your own production company and you can like really take hold of it because yeah. the ownership is your family yeah exactly yeah. it would have to be really precious and take care of it and make yeah. sure it's right but and yeah. you could play your grandmother that's yeah, like amazing and I want to shout out to my other grandmother as well American actress, just incredible, Helen Horton, the most glamorous, powerful woman. So oh, God, so you're I've, from just a powerful woman. Yeah, life. yeah. <laughs> good breed. <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah. And now I want to shout out to my mom, because she'll be like, you always mention your grandmothers. My yeah. mom's amazing, too. <laughs> mom, you are amazing, Mom. Well done, Mom. I get, I get that. My mom would totally say that. So wait, do you, are you like the family heirloom type? Do y'all have a, we, I didn't know anyone in my family, so I have like barely anything from my family. Are you the type to keep stuff? We do have heirlooms. We do, well, there's like, I, but I'm so sentimental. I'll keep anything, like a tiny note that someone's written to me once. It's like all stored away. I'm such a hoarder. I am the complete opposite oh, of you. I wish I was like you. Well, I feel like we had the moment and then you let it go. You're right, yeah. you've got to let go. Because I am like, my emotional state becomes chaotic if there's a lot around. I like simple, like, yeah. I'm chaotic. Yeah. Oh my God, I, am too. I need to learn. No, I am chaotic, that's why I need it. Like, yeah. I mean, I do like, like, Nick exits to some point, but yeah. like, it's, yeah, I get overwhelmed. But I don't, we don't really have a lot of family heirlooms, so, mm. yeah, that's cool. <laughs> um, remodeling, um, I heard you're doing that in London. I, I love renovations. You do. I love design, I love oh. all of it. I bought this house and I was so excited, you know, and I, it's Regency, it's super old. I think it's like 250 years old. So wow. I thought it had tons of character, and it does, but it's really just falling apart. I was um, gonna say, all, all I heard was mold. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. damp, mold, yeah. everything, yeah. yeah. Um, 
You yeah. can fix that. And then I can fix it. And then I can fix it. And try and restore like to the original. Yeah. Kinda, I love that. But there's loads of them. The builders came up to me the other day looking sort of like really suspicious. And, they, they were, and they'd found under the floorboards. And I was like, God, what are they going to found? It's a really old house. This could be something really interesting. Yeah. And they found like a couple of old like, like well-worn porno <laughs> magazine pamphlets. Oh. And, <laughs> And they were under the floorboards and they looked at me like real suspicious. I was like, these are from the 70s. Like, what do you think? I wasn't like, even alive. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I just love the idea of you hiding porn, like 70s yeah. porn in your floorboards. Yeah, that's my niche. Yeah, that's yeah. totally, could be your thing. That's creepy. Uh, let's get to some, I mean, if you're that, that's my thing. If you have to hide it, maybe you shouldn't be doing it. Well, yeah. Anyway, let's get to some, do you, world. So now we're going to look at the Your character is actually based on a real person. Does mm -hmm. that does that create more stress for you? Yeah, of course, because you want to do them justice and you want them to sort of like you know feel seen and you want to represent them well. But um, with this, I know that uh, recently they had the LA premiere and Pam and Kevin were there and they I think they loved the film and oh, they had an amazing awesome. moment with all the cast and yeah. But actually, th that was one of the things that was most beautiful about. So I'm, I'm um, Kevin's girlfriend, then become wife. They fall madly in love, and and in real life they're still together. They live through such tra tragedy and adversity, which you see in in the movie, and mm -hmm. they're still together. I think they are. They've you know fought for their love, and they've created a whole new family. And I think that's so inspirational. And we wanted to you know pay homage to that. And yeah, Absolutely. it's a beautiful because it's intense. The it's film in, is intense. It's intense. Yeah, I mean even right there he's. Well, he's Eat beaten up. up. Yeah. <laughs> like, I need to, like, give him words. Yeah. yeah. Explain to everybody, like, what the movie's about. Yeah, so it's um, it's about the Von Erich family. They were this Texan family, um, all boys, all wrestlers, following in the footsteps of their father. And they started out as underdogs uh, in the wrestling world, and they, like... They fought their way, th their way up to the top. They were kind of rock stars, you know, and they created this, um, you know, American sport dynasty. And but, but the film tracks that rise and their triumph. But along the way, there's just unspeakable tragedy. It's almost like a Greek tragedy what that family go through. So, mm. um, and Kevin, played by Zac Efron, who is exquisite. He is so incredible in this film. It's sort of through his eyes. Um, he looks different, speaking yeah. of <laughs> eyes. Like, I was, I was like, oh my god. Like, he looks so, was it startling to, like, go on set and be like, okay. Yeah, I could yeah. barely recognize him. There was yeah. so much more of him. I mean, he was huge. Oh He's, my god. Uh, he was, I mean, those boys worked so hard. And Oof. the wrestling you see in the film, it's legit them doing it. Like, I've never seen anything like it. It was so impressive. I'm exhausted thinking yeah. about it. That's, I know, yeah. I was so grateful I could just sort of sit on the sidelines for this one and just like and let them do the hard work. body slam anyone. Yes. Yeah. Um, well, the, move, the movie deals with family dynamics and getting, I love you so much, and, and getting through like hard situations. So how did you relate to that? You, is your family pretty easy or? Uh, I mean, I think, well, your family are the people that get you through the tough times, aren't they? And the people yeah. that you rely on and lean on. And so I'm pretty sure everyone has had experiences where they've had to really... Absolutely. You know, yeah. And, and they're the ones who have to call you out. That's yeah. Why you call them out. Yeah, yeah exactly. You, you trust them to sort of have your back and keep mm -hmm. you in line and, and be there for you when times are tough. So I definitely am so grateful. I have an amazing family. That's awesome. Well, definitely mm. the women. We've talked yeah. about them. So, <laughs> well, speaking of another movie thing that I love that you're in, um, Mamma Mia. Mm -hmm. um, you think you do? Because I just had Cher here, yeah. and we were talking about it. I don't know if we talked about it on camera or off camera, but we were talking about it, about Mamma Mia 3, and I was like, I feel like you should do it. Yeah. I want to do it. Would you do it? Yeah. I love Okay. Do you, because, did you grow up singing first? Because yeah. Because you're very comfortable in that area. Yeah. I always loved singing and dancing. That was my first yeah. love. And I just, I wanted to do musicals, and then I ended up doing more acting. But I, mm. that, I'd seen Mamma Mia so many times as a kid, and I, and I was obsessed. So that, that show, that role was like this crazy like dream come true, mad moment. I couldn't believe it was real. Yeah, full circle, full kind, circle of kind of moment. Yeah. And, um, yeah. Great songs, great dancing. Yeah, I love it was it. really fun. I would love to do the next one. I think it should be about how the dy dynamos, Donna and the dynamos formed, yes. which is my oh, idea, yes. but mainly because then I could be in it. But it's yes. also a good idea. Because <laughs> mainly I want to be in it. Yeah. But I think that's an actually really good idea. Yeah. Oh, that's Let's amazing. So wait, so if you were to play, because the biopics are a huge thing mm -hmm. now, like if you were to play like a musician, who do you think you would play? <laughs> who or who would you want to play? Well, I, I there was there's two there's two sort of versions of the answer. Whenever I karaoke, I do Shania Twain. So yes. there's like. Like, that's, that's, oh, you would be that. great. You have a southern <laughs> accent now. Yeah, I am. You, you just have to make it a little Canadian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah.
Bang. Yeah. But then I also love Janis Joplin, which oh. would be the more like hardcore. Like... <laughs> I don't know if I could do it, but you'd wreck your voice doing yeah. it. But you, do, yeah, you yeah. gotta <laughs> do something. Get a drink a lot. To get there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I love, okay. I love her as well. Mm. She's Texan. I'm pretty mm. sure. Yeah, I love her as well. If she's not Texan, I just owned her. Yeah, she <laughs> is. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I was gonna say I think she was. We're all in cool people are. <laughs> um, let's take another break, everybody. The Iron Claws in theaters now.